Hello, my name is Andrea Papaloezu and I'll be progressing my Bachelor of Psychological Science degree in Honours in 2016 at Australian Catholic University in Stratford. When I was in kindergarten, we had a buddy system. The teachers decided to partner me up with a girl who was born with Down syndrome, a developmental disorder. Helping her learn and grow despite her setbacks was extremely rewarding for me at just the age of five years old. In year six, I had my first encounter with a mental disorder. A new girl had entered the school who seemed so happy and cheerful. I was once again partnered up with her and explained to that she had suffered from a disorder called depression. But I was so confused. How could this smiling, cheerful, happy person have depression? Being quite a curious 11 year old, I researched these terms that I've never heard of before and educated myself. And it wasn't easy. She tried various times to end her life and when she was admitted to an institution, it was very hard and stressful on me. I want every other 11 year old or child that went through the experiences that I went through to know what depression is. I want them to know what these terms are just as much as they know what the flu is or a tummy ache is. The learning component of psychology is so incredible. Our thoughts and behaviour are so automatic that most of us say and do things without thinking. But it's funny that once you start paying attention and learning about how incredibly amazing the brain is and how behaviour works, you start to think, it makes sense now. In the years to come, I eventually want to complete my PhD and Masters combined in clinical psychology dedicating eight years of my life to understanding people and behaviors that are just so overlooked is what keeps me motivated. Sometimes you'll hear a theory that is interesting and changes the way you think about a personality trait or even processing models of memory, attention, problem solving, reasoning, planning and language and how it all works. First and foremost, I believe that the largest contributing factor of my success at university is a passion for what I'm studying. When you really believe in the importance of what you're learning about, it becomes a lot easier. And when I say easier, I don't mean that less effort is required. I mean that because it's enjoyable and interesting, motivation to study just increases. If the degree you're studying is your dream career path, you'll do whatever it takes to get there. And yes, that includes the hefty hex fee and all those years taken to achieve it all in the end. People don't realize that uni is a full-time job. You don't just go to uni and then come home and rest. You spend hours and hours going over what you learned that day, in lectures, tutorials, required readings. And yes, sometimes it gets tiring and it's hard work. But when you start your degree, you dedicate yourself to this job. As it said, it's not always going to be easy, but at least it'll be worth it. It is quite literally a real life experiment. Experience is worth more than gold. Putting yourself out there and gaining experience through participation in studies, becoming a research assistant, getting involved with Are You OK Day, which is a suicide prevention program, and gaining scholarships have allowed me to put all my theory into practice. It's given me more insight into my degree and has allowed me to work with older adults who suffered from stroke and also children who have had post-traumatic amnesia as a result of traumatic brain injury. Learning has become like a bridge between me and my future profession, which means that I can now identify with what it takes to be a psychologist. It's become a part of me and allowed me to understand the interaction between emotions, thoughts, behavior, physiology, and how they all affect each other to present a person or a problem. It also allows me to understand how society's pressures and norms shape the way we act. But I want to promote that mental health is just as important as physical health. Just as you'd go to the doctor for a sore foot or a sore arm, you should also seek help for mental health problems. When you've embarked on a journey of learning and trying to become an expert in your field, you, you start to apply everything that you've learned to the places and people around you. Seeing how different parts of the brain affect behavior is so incredible. People don't realize that psychology is a research science. We test how factors affect people's thoughts and behaviors. We test hypotheses and experiment and, and see how we can answer questions such as does violent TV shows affect aggression in children? Does postnatal depression affect breastfeeding? I am so incredibly lucky to be part of a field that tests questions like these and hundreds more to improve the quality of life of many, many people.